Are we ready? Yes. Okay. How to do business in Colombia by Cal Fagan, Lita, and Elena. I'm going to attack the second name, Shirazi and Elena Sullivan. Next slide, please. Oh. Our, our product is the Campbell Kitchen Company. We're trying to introduce this into the Colombian market. And we have a potential executive that we're going to visit in the following month or so. And we want to, we want to be prepared to know their customs and cultures, how to properly greet these people and open a market of, I believe, frozen type foods, fast foods what's uh, referred to as fast foods or frozen foods. Next slide, please. I'm going to name some of the cu cultural facts. Well, that it's family orientated, because you want to gather around the dinner table. Or like, their primary meal, from what I understand, is the midday meal. It's not like what we refer to as supper. It's the, is that correct? A midday meal. A family oriented, and you have to have proper dinner etiquette. You can't have your arms uh, on top of the table. You have to sit erect at a table. There's sort of a, what I would call, uh, I would call a little chauvinistic attitude, that they have only the women cook, the, the, ma the matriarch cooks not the men. So I just assume, that's just an assumption on my part. The meal takes two to three hours to prepare. And it's the, and, and that's why I like considered the role of the mother. The types of meals, I know is just a long preparation. I don't know the exact, is there, is there any particular that I should know on the meals itself? And colors are very important at the table. In other words, a mixture of tablecloths and the, and the chinaware and everything in the pictures is supposed to form a motif. It's not supposed to be a bland color, as if like a white tablecloth. Next slide, please. I'm going to introduce Elena now that's going to take this. And I'm sorry, excuse me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have Vita uh, uh, bring in what the, what the rest of the, the format is. Okay. Introduce. Okay. Thank you, Cal. So as Cal mentioned, we're going to have a business meeting with our Colombian counterpart. And we want to impress them by knowing about uh, their business etiquette. The first thing is appearance. Appearance is very important to Colombians. For example, women wear suits uh, or dress and wear makeup. And I men wear, makeup. wear suits, especially in dark color. Even farmers wear uh, formal clothes. The next example is about time. Punctuality. Colombians are not punctual. So if you have a meeting, uh, at least you should ex uh, expect 10 to 30 minutes delay. But you as a foreigner are, are expected to be on time. The other thing was about uh, the length of business meeting. Um, that they may, uh, they, la they may last the whole day. And there, there is not a fixed time for a meeting. The main reason is that uh, they don't follow an agenda. They may have an agenda, but that's only the start. So you don't know how long the meeting gonna last and what to expect. The next thing was greetings. Uh, Colombians keep a direct eye contact when they are shaking hands, and uh, appropriate uh, greeting for the days when you're shake, uh, shaking hands are like Buenos dias, like uh, good morning, or uh, Buenos tardes, good afternoon. Um, and uh, do not rush it because Colombians like to have a long uh, greetings because they think they feel respect when you're taking more time while greeting. Be careful with your hand gestures. 
So some hand gestures may have different meanings in the United States, uh, may not be the same in another country. For example, this hand gesture, which which is like love or rock on in the United States, um, in their culture it means your wife is unfaithful. Um, and when they're doing this, <laughs> this hand gesture means that uh, you have a thief among you. And if someone puts a uh, tap uh, his finger under the elbow, it means that uh, someone is a stingy. <laughs> okay. So what we should say and what we should what we shouldn't. Good topics are history, culture, gold museum, soccer, and coffee. So try to talk more about those topics and avoid talking about. Uh, politics, drag tra uh, drug traffic, or religion. Elena is going to talk about our product and uh, giving you information about our marketing strategy. Uh, first of all, I'm going to tell you what our product is, what we're going to do with our marketing campaign, and who is, uh, who is our target audience. First of all, our company involves in different types of products. It's ready meals, it's different sauces, it's all about cooking, it's different uh, spasm, gross for example, different pre meals, natural juices. As a marketing team, we did uh, focus groups and research what our, what our opinion is of our product and what do we think about the design, what their opinion is, what we should change. And they say there's not really much response to our product. This culture likes bright colors, different textures. And our products, although they are bright, but they are not they are pretty simplistic in their opinion. So our team met with our designer team and they decided that we should redesign our products. And it should look something like this. Uh, it still looks pretty simple, but it looks like homemade meals. First of all, the biggest concern with our meals is that it's prepared foods. Foods, it's not natural. And it's a culture that concentrates on cooking, they spend the whole days cooking. It's a mother's role. So we are trying to make our products look as much as what your mother would do in her kitchen. Also, we are looking at different media, how we can advertise and launch our products successfully. And we think that the most uh, successful ways would be through radio, through the advertisements, through the TV commercials. And for the young people who like technology, they would really like to have uh, maybe some kind of iPad, different messages, these recipes coming from the messaging board. So, first of all, we look at the magazine ads, and this culture is really all about textures in different places, and food looking wholesome and bright colors. So we came up with uh, ideas and with sauces that look like you would really want to have it right now, and you really would like cooking. Also, we look, currently we have Currently, we have a strategy that's concentrated on two different topics. First of all, our food is delicious, but it saves time to your family because you are busy, you have no time for cooking really, and the meals are complicated. So our meals really help to save time. And the second strategy is concentrated on family, that we cook to make our time with the family special. So we came up with three commercials that, very, that were very successful in TBS, and we consider it to have these commercials in Colombia. Passion is a sponsor of our bike candles. Mm -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. Good. Having a busy day? Can't find the time to eat right? Campbell's introduces something so revolutionary it deserves a hand. Introducing Campbell's Soup at Hand. Four hot, satisfying soups like creamy chicken and tomato. They're the only soups made sippable in new heat and go microwavable cups. Sure, your hands are full, but it's amazing what you can do with new soup in hand from Campbell's. Mm -hmm. Good. So it was the safe time walk. The next one is about the family time. What does it mean to be a mom? Well, what does it mean to be the four-star general in charge of the big family dinner? What does it mean to be the first lady of freshness, all the while being a bulldog about the budget? And what does it mean to love the fact that all your fresh, delicious, hard work disappears in the blink of an eye? It means everything. 
and it means you shop at buy low. Why do I cook for the holidays? To share with family. To carry on traditions. To come together even when we're apart. In stuffing, mashed potatoes, gravy, and more, Swanson makes holiday dishes delicious. I think definitely not the first one because that shows like people are in a rush because they want to get places on time and you said that in Columbia they are not typically on time so I think the first one is definitely not a good one and I like the second one. So then there's a consensus of the second one. The first time it was like drinking out of a cup, we came to see what they're eating. And uh, you, you mentioned that you know, just to sit down at the table and see what you're eating, textures, and totally the opposite of the first time. You and the cup. So, so which one was your favorite? Yeah. I'm hungry, so I'm going to eat a little bit. But so, even. To me, number three is the most appealing, but is there a right answer? I mean, number one, I think, is out, right? Yes. You would think the number one wouldn't work. Right. But as between two and three, is there a preference there because the mother is cooking or or the sit-down kind of slowness of it of number three? So what what did you think? And number two, father is cooking as well. Mm -hmm. It's a big no problem in the really? Because oh. there's a whole family who is cooking. There's a mother and a father cooking, and you would never see father in the kitchen. Really? So number three actually had the highest response. Mm -hmm. It was the best choice for the Columbia market. Mm -hmm. And also, in, uh, together with these advertisements in the journals and magazines and these TV commercials, we also going to tie how our products complement local cuisine. Because it's we over basically American food. And Colombian culture is completely different. They really like spicy, complicated meals with different textures. And we, we are thinking about creating the little kiosks in the stores and little markets that would target housewives and that would show them how do we implement our meals, our, our products into the local foods. For example, a java soup, it's, uh, this soup is very difficult to make and it's all about how to make gross consistently. It has a chicken, different types of potatoes, there are four different types of potatoes, different spices, and we can show that our sauces and our growth would be a perfect complement to these meals. So, yeah, I think uh, when we know the right target market and we know the culture, we can have a really good mixture for our marketing. Mm -hmm. And with all, everything that we mentioned before, I think uh, we should uh, put emphasis on things that they'll like more and by introducing the cuisine it can help us to increase the sell. I would say that we want to also know, try to find out, are these accessory foods or are these going to be the key part of the, the meal? Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, I mistakenly uh, said in the beginning that these are frozen. I see they're not frozen. Or, or are some? Are some frozen? I wasn't sure, and then it gave me the impression mm -hmm. that. Uh, now, are these going to be main meals, or are these going to be like accents that we want to introduce? I think because the, the cooking is such a big part of it, the research is fantastic. Mm -hmm. And then we can have a 
So Vika said that our meals is double what the package meals, but they do complement the main meals and will make it taste better. And how do we bridge the gap that they're not actually Spanish products in that? Well, we have different sauces there. Tuscan sauces. Is there something that we have? Yes. Yeah, absolutely different. Uh, tomato sauce is want. different. And we also can change it for the local market. These are spices that they like. And we think that all different aspects are important, such as traditions, uh, different cultural characteristics, so food etiquette, because we we'll need to interact with distributors, with mm -hmm. different stores, and we have to know all these characteristics before we market our products. Okay. And I just thought as a keynote uh, for our Ferraro book mm -hmm. that there are, uh, uh, we will express a, uh, both have expressed different customs, but some that we should mention of the non-verbal mm -hmm. would be eye contact, I don't know if that was mentioned, but eye contact, proximity, that I, I think if I'm not so, mistaken. So would these be things that would go in your, your ads, like your other your commercials or well, your print gotta, ads or no, something like that? No, when we make a play, when we get into production of ads, we gotta right. know that somebody's not sitting on top of And that there's, a a uh, proper uh, dress code and a proper formality. Mm -hmm. And so we got to learn the different, all the nonverbal communications as well as the, because the verbal will be expressed mm -hmm. in the commercial, mm -hmm. but there's nuances of stares, of handshaking, which was mentioned. Did you and, and color, the daylight, we, we have to show a respect for it. Uh, not a bland color, but it's got to be a very colorful background. So we've got to be concerned with some of these subtleties okay. when we get into production, too. So I have two questions for you. One, did you watch any Colombian commercials or Spanish language commercials to see what kinds of things, not even not food commercials, but did you see some of the things that are chosen or choices that are made to present information? Yes, like really too close, friendly environment mm -hmm. yes. and you you mostly see women yes women in uh, commercials mm -hmm. and except really women in, and football stores right yes okay <laughs> yes the other thing was when we were talking about showing a kitchen and cooking mm -hmm. uh, if you wanted to show children in the commercial uh, they should come and give a kiss and hug to their parents and it's really important mm -hmm. yes. okay for the culture because okay Otherwise, it's rude if you're not giving the kids a lot to your parents. And we should mention that in now, that in the The other question is, have you thought of any kind of segmentation? Because um, maybe the best thing to do is not to sort of make inroads into the culture where there is these sit-down dinners and there's a lot of cooking. Can you think of other segments that you might market this to? Um, I don't know what, how long the lunches are. I'm saying, yeah, professionals. Professional restaurants. Yeah, professional restaurants. Well known, and majority of the groups really know about that, and they do make cooking much easier than they do. Right. So I think we should market to right. professionals. Right. Another question? Any question? Did you bring samples? I know. <laughs> <No>. <laughs>